My most well received video on YouTube, the classic hit Zoro is a fraud, was made mainly as a joke to piss off Zoro fans. Obviously, Zoro is not a fraud who couldn't finish off Luchi and needed Jimbei to come in and one shot him. <laughs> I swear I love Zoro, don't kill me. Now, like father, like son, Hawkeye Mihawk is an even bigger fraud than Zoro. And I'm gonna tell you all why. Before I get into it though, I am trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of summer. So if you do enjoy my content, leave a like and subscribe and yeah, let's get into it. Mihawk decided to become a warlord so that he can have peace and quiet. But then he chased Don Creek from the Grand Line through the entirety of the East Blue all the way to the Barati because he was bored? I thought you wanted peace and quiet. If you wanted a fight, why not fight big time pirates? Oh right, cause he's a fraud. Oh, I won't fight Shanks anymore cause he lost his arm. I'm not gonna waste my time fighting someone who's half the man he used to be. But you know what is worth his time? King of the New World, Stone Cold Don Creek. This guy makes no sense, I'ma move on. Okay, I'm not gonna hold this next point against Frodhawk too much because Marineford is a power scaler's worst nightmare. Nothing about the arc made sense. We had Crocodile going from losing to Water Luffy to slicing Akainu in half and clashing with Mihawk. But I don't care, cause listen, Mihawk is supposedly, according to y'all, stronger than Shanks. So explain to me why Mihawk was fighting Vista 90% of the time, had his attack blocked by Jozu like it was nothing, and was stopped by Crocodile. Only one I can let slide is Jozu's block, cause it wasn't like he blocked Mihawk's ultimate attack or something, so I guess... You know, that's whatever. But still, Mihawk was being confronted by commanders whilst this light-skinned Shanks pulled up and stopped an entire war. He stopped Akainu's fist like he's Michael Jackson. Who is this guy? And you Shanks fans better not get excited because I'm coming for your boy next. I also want to say I'm not downplaying Vista or Jozu by any means. I know they're white beard commanders, but Shanks one shot a kid. Uh, <laughs> that sounds crazy. I mean, he one shot a kid. This kid. You start kid, okay? He one shot a kid that defeated Big Mom, and he has conquerors and awakened devil fruit and a three billion berry bounty and all that crazy stuff. So if Mihawk was truly on Shanks' level, he should have been able to swat them like a fly. But again, this was Marine for it, so. It's cool. It's whatever. I'll let it slide. You know what I won't let slide though? This SBS question. In chapter 1058, Crocodile mentioned that Mihawk was called the Marine Hunter in the past. Is this related to the reason he became a warlord? Oda responds by saying, Mihawk is a person who holds a grudge against the Marines. Blah, blah, blah. He was betrayed by them. Okay, whatever. But listen, now that the warlord position has vanished, the idea now is to hide behind Buggy's shadow. This is a grown ass man hiding behind this fool. Crocodile said, let's kill Buggy because he's stealing our spotlight. And this fraud said, um, well actually this is, this is a good thing because uh, now the marines will target him and not me. This guy cannot be stronger than Shanks. Listen, I don't even like Shanks all that much. He's okay, but he's not a character I defend with my life. But as things stand right now, in my books, he's the strongest in the verse after Emu, unfortunately. Look man, uh, I don't want to give this bum any more attention. So I'm going to end the video here. Tell me in the comments below which potential fraud I should investigate next. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in a week. Bye guys.